Hi family, this is Brother Rob, I'm with Brother Stephen, we're in Bradford, we're preaching the gospel. Remember, it's only through the blood of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, that was shed to atone for the sins of humanity. It's already been done, you just have to receive it. No matter of works can, can do it, you just lay hold of it. Okay, we'll but begin. For by grace are we saved through faith, and that not of ourselves, it is the gifts of God, not of works. It's not by our own good works. So these works that I'm doing, we're doing, um, Neither by we're not saved or kept saved by them. Do you need someone to touch my phone? No, sorry, thanks. This ain't a heartbreak ever. So we'll begin. Here we we'll go. Begin. Here we go. We'll begin. God bless God you, Bradford. You, Bradford. We have come here to tell you that God loves you, first of all. May God bless each and every one of you. We're talking about the living God, which made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. The God of the Bible. We've come here to tell you the way to be saved and how simple it is for you to be saved with everlasting life and granted a place in heaven because there's only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father but by me. That means you won't make it to heaven except through Jesus Christ. You've got to believe on Jesus Christ. You, you need a saviour, you need forgiveness, because like the Bible tells us, we have all sinned, we've all broken God's commandments. The Bible says the wages or the penalty of sin is death, but the free gift of God which God wants to give everyone, according to the Bible, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available to anybody and everybody that believes, and it doesn't matter what you have done. The Lord Jesus Christ will accept you just as you are. God is looking at your heart. He just wants to know if you, by faith, will receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ, or will you reject him? We pray that you won't reject the one and only who can save your soul and grant you, guarantee you eternal security, Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, what you've done, you turn to the Lord Jesus and he's promised that he will not turn you away. So turn to him, God bless you. Turn to Jesus Christ because we're living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming. Lay hold of your salvation, your eternal security by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. That Jesus died on that cross for you. He died on that cross to pay the penalty in full for all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed everlasting gospel. And when you believe that in your heart and you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. Save yourselves, people. Time is running out. Jesus Christ is coming. Can you not sense the, the, the weird atmosphere? Remember the last three years what we've been through. That was a, a telltale sign that we're living in the end of the days. The Lord Jesus Christ at any moment. All Christians around the world are looking for Jesus. He's coming. We know he's coming. We're looking for our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13 Jesus is coming. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, in the rapture, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Jesus is coming. He's going to take all who belong to him up out of this world in the rapture. Don't be left behind because you rejected the love of the truth. Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. 
God loves you. God is love, but he's given you free will. He's given you a choice. You can either accept or reject that free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. But your decision to accept or reject the Lord Jesus will determine where you spend eternity, heaven or hell. The choice is yours. Jesus will not turn you away. Turn to him now because we're running out of time. Just believe. Just believe the gospel and you'll be saved. You need saving. You need forgiveness. Because the Bible is true. It tells us we have all sinned. And if any man says that he has no sin, he deceives himself. And the truth is not in him. The Bible says we have all sinned. And if we say that we have not sinned, we're calling God a liar. And his truth and his word is not in us. So Jesus Christ, he paid the penalty on that cross. He was the atoning sacrifice for all our sins. That means your lifetime of sin when you believe that Jesus died on that cross for you and he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day as it is written. Believe this in your hearts. Call upon Jesus. Say, come into my life, Lord Jesus. Or come into my heart, Lord Jesus. And he will. And he'll save you. And he'll seal you with Holy Spirit of promise. And you'll never lose that salvation because you're now born of God. Born again. Saved, sealed, sanctified and justified with everlasting life. And it's up to you. But I wouldn't waste any more time. I wouldn't hesitate if, if I was you because time is short. Jesus Christ is coming. Are you ready? Are you saved? Jesus said, except you repent, you will perish. Except you repent, change your mind from your unbelief and believe the good news. That's what gospel means, good news. Then you will perish. Except you change your mind, except you repent, you will perish. That means you'll land in hell for eternity. Hell is a place of outer darkness where there's weeping and wailing, where there's gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies, where the fire never goes out, where people are utterly consumed with terrors. That's what the Bible says and that's why we are here because God loves you. He doesn't want you to spend eternity in outer darkness in hell. Screaming and crying, utterly consumed with terrors. No, God wants to save you. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Peter, whosoever, just believe. You don't earn your salvation. You don't work for it by being good. No. You believe on the only one that was good, Jesus Christ. He never sinned, he led a perfect life. That was God manifested in the flesh. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, as a sacrifice. Because the Bible says there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. So God gave Jesus Christ, his only begotten son, to be a sacrifice, to die on that cross for all our sins, our lifetime of sin that means, according to the scriptures, and he was buried and he rose again on the third day, according to the scriptures, just believe that in your heart, don't be afraid or ashamed to say, come into my life Lord Jesus, and he will, when you mean it, when you're honest, when you're humble, and you, and you, it doesn't matter, God bless you, Bradford. We've come here to tell you that Jesus loves you. We've come here to tell you there's an open door for anybody and everybody that believes the gospel. If you want saving, if you want to make it to heaven, then there's only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, and it is Jesus Christ. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Everlasting life. I can't believe people are turning this down. What can, what, 
What will it profit a man to gain the whole world and, and yet lose his own soul in the process? Do you realise you're not guaranteed your next breath? You're not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow? When you draw your last breath, you go into eternity, heaven or hell, and you have the choice. God wants you in heaven. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved. The Bible says that all can be saved, no matter who you are, no matter what you have done. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right, I'm going to stop this one and upload it. It's been a difficult one. Please pray for us, guys. Um, uh, we, we, did, we did pray ourselves, but it's been difficult to just get, get him going straight away before he even starts. Um, things happening. <laughs> All right, but I'm not giving. I'm, I'm not coming here all this way for nothing, you know. All right, guys, I love you. I love you all. Fine, please pray for me. Somebody said, mentioned something about potentially me being proud. Uh, if, if 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 you see any pride in me, then flipping it, Lord God, take it out of me. I I want. I I, I must become less less and Je I want Jesus to be more and more his righteousness it's not my own righteousness it's imputed to me we are the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ and I give God all the glory and um, it, anybody can get proud men and women uh, pride is the first sin Satan Lucifer he wanted to be better than God you know anyway um, there are, there are six things the Lord hates, yea, seven that are an abomination to him. The first one, a proud look, a lying tongue. And, and, and it goes on in, in the Proverbs. Right, I'm going to get, get off, upload this. Bye, family.